This is one of those big bike tours, this one sponsored by the MS Society in North and South Carolina. Two days, 200 miles. And, of course, communications handled by ham radio. That's my mobile unit, and uh, be careful, you're drooling on your keyboard. We are working the MS Breakaway to the Beach event, which is a two-day event, and I'm getting equipped and ready to chauffeur one of the directors around. My job was to be a SAG, that's uh, support in gear. We cruise back and forth between the rest stops along with the bicycles, looking for people who have worn out or have mechanical trouble. And sometimes it gets interesting. This is one of the rest stops. It has food and water for the riders and mechanical assistance and some other necessary accessories. This is where we bring riders who have worn out or had mechanical trouble. It's this kind of support that makes a thousand or more riders feel comfortable about completing 100-mile courses back-to-back in one weekend. So I had a bike issue and he picked me right up in record time and brought me to a mechanic that's going to take care of my bike so I can continue the ride. It's a great day. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just helping out. These guys are doing all the work. My name's Kevin. I'm with the W4BFB Club and I am a SAG vehicle today. I'm the ham operator for rest stop six. The call is AJ4ZL. Make sure there's plenty of ice. If there's nobody tired and flaking out, then uh, stay here till the truck picks all the stuff up. And I suppose you do some radio communicating. Do some of that. Uh, rest stop six, stand by. KS4OX. Uh, I got you checked out with a break. Thank you very much. Rest stop six, go ahead. This is Net Control, where Tim, N4IB, has been on the air all morning. I tried to ask him about the job. I didn't get far. I am Net Control. Uh, rest up six, I believe it was. Go ahead. The rider wants to know who's got the glasses. The trailer was provided by a group called SC Hearts. They also provided one of two linked repeater systems used throughout the weekend. Each course was basically a straight line, 100 miles long. No single repeater was going to cover the whole thing. But the two regional repeater systems provided continuous coverage. This is really the main reason we're out here. Sparky, KE4TES, who's doing double duty as a medic and a ham operator, is giving some attention to a rider who had a close encounter with the asphalt. His injuries were minor, but serious enough to warrant an ambulance trip to the hospital to be checked out. Most of these big bike tours do have some significant incidents, anything from serious road rash to a broken collarbone. But really, just about everybody makes it to the finish line. Most of them under their own power, a few of them in our sag wagons. For them, it's all about the ride. For us, it's all about using ham radio to help out. And afterwards, a bunch of us usually get together for some fellowship, some food, to swap some war stories, and in this case, to say hello to you. <laughs>